In this video, we will look at how to use the customers and appointments functions within the web portal, which form the customer relationship manager or CRM. These allow you to view and manage your customers as well as book customer appointments. The CRM can be configured in the web portal to match the needs of your business, including what information to record about your customers and how many text reminders to send for their appointments. Please see our other videos on how to configure your CRM. The CRM is available to register PLUS customers and comprises of customers, appointments and text reminders. In order to access the CRM features, you must have at least one register PLUS license assigned to your account. Please speak with your solution provider if you would like to upgrade to register PLUS. There are two main elements to the CRM. The first section is customers, where you can create and import new customers, search for existing customers and view their details view previous and future appointments, as well as associated transactions. You can also edit the customer details, create a new appointment and assign the customer to a transaction. To manage customers, click CRM on the top bar and click Customers from the sub-menu. The main window will display a series of buttons for adding customers, as well as importing and exporting your customers. This is then followed by a search area and finally, a table containing all your customers that have been created. You can edit existing customers by tapping the pen icon, view the customer appointments using the calendar icon, view the customer transactions using the list icon, and finally, delete the customer using the trash can icon. To create a new customer, click the New Customer button and complete the customer form. The customer form will comprise of all the customer fields that you have configured, so will likely look different. Enter all the customer data, ensuring you complete any required fields. If you do not enter a customer code, the web portal will generate a unique ID for that customer for you. If you are using text message reminders for appointments, please ensure you enter a mobile number in the primary phone field and enter the country. You will also need to click Yes on Accept Reminders. After entering all the data, click the Save button and you will be returned to the customer list screen. If you need to add multiple customers, it is typically quicker to do this via an import. To import customers, you first need to prepare an import file. This can be done by clicking the Download Template button. The web portal will prepare a file for you to work with. Click the Download XLS button and open the file once downloaded and click Yes on the info prompt. Your import template will open in Excel. Click Enable Editing and maximize the column widths. You will see a table with the same elements we saw earlier on the customer form. Enter the information for all your customers or copy to cross from another worksheet. The only difference here is you must enter the word yes in column A in order for the web portal to import each customer. After entering all your data, save the file ensuring it is set to an XLS document. Moving back to the web portal, to import our customer import file we just created, click the import records button and click the white button to launch the open window. Navigate to the location on your machine where your file is, select the appropriate file and click open. The web portal will first check the contents of the file to ensure the data is valid. When ready, tap the Import Customers button to start the import. After the import is completed, tap the Close button. We will now see all our customers listed in the table below. If you need to edit your existing customers in bulk, you also have the option to export your customers. To do this, click the Export Records button and the web portal will prepare your file. Click the Download XLS button. Open the file once downloaded and click Yes on the info prompt. You will see an Excel spreadsheet with the same header we saw in the customer template file. The only difference is all the customer information has also been entered for your existing customers. You can make changes to the customers but cannot change the customer code. After setting the import record column to Yes, save your changes and you can import the file as we did before. You can also edit individual customers within the web portal by clicking the pen icon. This will load the customer form where you can change any details including the customer code. After making your changes, click save to return to the customer list screen. You can view the customer's past and future appointments by clicking the calendar icon. This will take you to the calendar screen but only appointments for that customer will be displayed. From here, you can view appointments, edit existing appointments, delete appointments as well as create new appointments. You can filter the displayed appointments by adjusting the date filter. By default, the web portal will show all appointments for the current month. To change this, click the monthly drop-down and select your desired date range, and then click the date to enter the details. 
In this example, we want to view all appointments for 2018, so we will change the drop down to yearly and select 2018 in the date. Click the reload button to refresh the appointments table. To create a new appointment for the customer, click the new appointments button. In the appointment form, you will notice the customer details have been pre-populated. Enter the remaining appointment details including date, time, duration, stall and type, then click the save button. If the appointment you are trying to create conflicts with an existing appointment, the web portal will prompt you to adjust the date and time. After creating the appointment, the customer will receive a confirmation text message followed by the reminders if configured. You can edit an existing appointment by clicking the pen edit icon. Again, this will load the appointment form where you can make any changes. After updating the appointment, click the save button to apply the changes. The customer will then receive a text message reminder of the changes if configured. To delete a customer appointment, click the trash can icon and the web portal will ask for confirmation. If configured, your customer will receive a cancellation text message. To return to the customer list screen, click the close button. You can view a customer's previous transactions by clicking the list icon. This will take you to the transaction history screen for that customer. From here, you can view the customer's previous transactions, export the customer transactions, and link a customer to a transaction. You can filter the display transactions by adjusting the date filter. By default, the web portal will show all transactions for the last 30 days. To change this, click the last 30 days dropdown and select your desired filter, then click the date. In this example, we want to view all transactions for 2018, so we will change the dropdown to yearly and select 2018 in the date. Click the reload button to refresh the transactions table. To link a customer to a transaction that has happened in the past, click the link transaction button. In the transaction form, enter the transaction ID that is printed at the top of the receipt just below the date and time and click the search button. The form will update with a summary of the transaction. Click the link button to assign the transaction to the current customer. To export the customer's previous transactions, click the export transactions button. Click the download XLS button and open the file once downloaded and click yes on the info prompt. You will see details of every transaction associated to the customer. Moving back to the web portal, to delete a customer, you must click the trash can icon and confirm the action within the prompt. When deleting a customer, it will also cancel and delete any future appointments the customer has booked. If you cannot locate a specific customer, you can also filter the customer list using the search tool. You can search against the first name, last name and email address. To do this, click in the search customers area. Enter your search criteria and click the search button. The search status will display how many results have been found and the table will update with the matching customers. You can also view all customer appointments in the web portal by clicking CRM in the top bar and appointments in the submenu. You will see a similar screen to what we saw earlier when viewing a single customer's appointments. The main difference is this screen will show appointments for every customer. You can filter the displayed appointments by adjusting the date filter. By default, the web portal will show all appointments for the current day. To change this, click the Today drop-down and select your desired date range. Then click the date to enter the details. In this example, we want to view all appointments for February. So we will change the drop-down to monthly and select Feb in the date. Click the reload button to refresh the appointments table. You can also filter the appointments by store, staff and appointment type by clicking the appropriate drop down and applying the filters. Again, click the reload button to refresh the appointments table. You cannot create appointments here, you must do that from the customers screen as we saw earlier. You can however edit and delete existing appointments. You can edit an existing appointment by clicking the pen edit icon. This will load the appointment form where you can make any changes. After updating the appointment, click the save button to apply the changes. The customer will then receive a text message with the changes if configured. To delete a customer appointment, click the trash can icon and the web portal will ask for confirmation. If configured, your customer will receive a cancellation text message. All of the customers and calendar functionality is also available on the register client. Further information on managing customers and appointments can also be found in your user manual and if you still have any questions, please get in touch with your solution provider who will be able to offer further assistance.